everyone. Thanks so much for being here. Welcome back for another video, an unbagging video. It's actually a bag. We call them jewelry jars, jewelry bags, but this is the battle of the jewelry bags. And it was a co wonderful concept started by Crystal over at Moon Goddess Treasures. I hope you're subscribed to her channel because she puts out wonderful content. She uh, proposed that we do a challenge and we're challenging each other. So you are to vote on your best favorite bags once you watch my video and then you go over and watch hers be sure and comment below not only if you think i should win this challenge and why but what was your favorite piece that would help me win this contest there is no <laughs> prize or anything for the winner but it's just fun it's a way to collaborate with each other so let's take a look the 89 dollar one because that is kind of the average price that i pay here in houston so keep that in mind when you vote that mine is costing me 89 dollars. i don't know what she pays average for her jars or what so let's get started this one must weigh it's heavy and look how packed it is it is incredible i'm gonna pour some of it out oh by the way i did have to use a new cloth so i hope you guys don't mind but um this is another passion of mine is collecting vintage linens and i love this one it's got two beautiful little chirps there and it says amor mio which means my love in spanish and it's hand embroidered and it is just a weakness of mine so okay let's start pouring some stuff in. let's try to work with that okay all right we have some single a beautiful area. watch it's a G geneva it's just your typical little Geneva watch, but they really make some stylish things, don't they? Here's a brooch. This is pretty. Looks like a modern day brooch. Oh, it's actually a, no signature. It's actually an enhancer pendant as well. That's beautiful. I like that. I think I'll put that over there. Hide your crazy. Oh, that's cute. But don't hide your crazy, guys. No, that's no fun. Um, but the, I thought I was going to say something about faith or something. That's different. It's got some um, how like cute. This is another Geneva. This is just a, another single a Hamsa bracelet, uh, like a little rotating eye in it. Another watch, and this one's Geneva as well. This one's really worn out. Here's an interesting ram bracelet. I like this. It's actually springy. It's got like a little spring. That is cool. Interesting bracelet. I like it. Oh, this is cute. Look how festive that is. So, that one is cool. I like it. All the stones are there, I think. The stretch. It looks like all acrylic. It's a nice look. It's a cool watch. It looks like an Anne Klein. It's got the Anne Klein logo in the back i love this this is gorgeous it's got the hidden why do you need to hide the watch i've never understood that but anyway somebody thought it was a clever idea years ago and they started doing that it still looks like a watch mm, this one is by ann klein as well kind of worn out too a cute bracelet Some seed beads here's a gold chain Ooh, this is cute. This is really pretty. I gotta show you a video later, guys. I went to one of my favorite thrift, more like resale shop. And the people that work there, they're all well to do, volunteer, charity type of people. And they wear this kind of jewelry. So we were talking. And <laughs> that was a wonderful conversation with an elderly lady there. And she recommended a jeweler because I have a ring I need to repair. But yeah, she was wearing things like this, but they were real, and you could tell. So look forward to that one. It's coming up soon. I'm editing yeah. those really cute little roll-on type bracelets. I like them. That's a pretty color, too. These, oh, gosh, they even had these at parties. I don't remember why I went to that party, because I never liked these beads. I never, ever, ever got into these. I think these were hot in the 80s. So you buy all colors, you twist them, you put enhancers. These are going into a bead lot. Not a look I ever liked. This is kind of a larger size, but it's nice. Army green with a little AB overtone on that. Someone knit something. Okay, I, I like the knitted scarves. I did those. Someone knit some jewelry. I loved this yarn. I made so many pretty things out of this kind of yarn. 
but this was not one of them and I don't think I would wear it as jewelry Ooh, cute what's this Coldwater Creek yes I already recognize their logo a little bit that's a gorgeous bracelet that's in great condition yeah that's cute it's got some chunky links with kind of a tortoise shell as well very cool and then a Rinse little stone center highlight stone there earrings a stretch another stretch this one's pretty it's got some metal i love these square glass cobalt blue and oh, this looks like an interesting charm i thought it might be a james avery charm they make one similar i had it but it broke could not believe it should have taken it back. replace it for free i don't know why i didn't take it back oh my goodness what is this oh this is one of those purse things the heck it is it could be a bookmark i thought it might be the ones that you put your purse on but that doesn't look like it would sit on your on a table i don't know what that is oh, oh look a k that's so cute it's like faux tortoise shell and uh, the initial K cut out of it. That is darling. I love it. What is this? Looks like it's on a tag. It's very cute. It's a rosary link bracelet. It's darling. Really cool toggle on that. I hope you can see that. See the toggle? Rhinestone and AB. And here is some Texas charms. Cute earring. This says love on it. It's cute. It's gold tone. It's a cute necklace. Crosses and pearls, faux pearls. And it just says love on this side. It's very nice. Oh, these are cute. Oh my gosh, those are cute earrings. I hope I find a mate to that one. These are interesting beads. I'm not sure what they are. I forget what the name of that pink stone is. It could be just pink quartz, but I always want to think it has a fancy name. I don't know. Not rose quartz. But there's one that's kind of a fuchsia color. This is a really pretty bracelet, too. Look at that. Toggled. Rondelles. A little bit of a Bali-looking design on that. That is really cool. This is glass. It looks just like glass, but it looks like it's marked 925. Handy loop. Let's look at that. You see that? Yep, you can see clearly that it's glass with the loop, but it's beautiful. I love that apple green color. Of course, I'll test that. Many things are stamped 925 these days, and they're lying to you. Oh, these are cute. Look at that. Some little lamp work beads inside of a spiral earring. Okay, I'm trying to not show you the earrings until they're matched. It's a hard habit to break. I know a lot of people hate when I do that. Hey, these are matched, and these are pretty little pearl drops. These are cool. Gold tone. Those are really pretty. I like those. And then it pearls on the post, too. Kids, Hamsa. Ooh, this is cute. Look at this bracelet. It's not finished thing going through there like a little trombone closure I believe it's called these are darling and look it actually looks like it's too small might have had a couple of pieces missing right what a shame and more single earring here's the Texas charm this is just a little kids Texas map see a lot of this in Texas we're quite proud of our state I'll talk about that one day yes okay this is a little outstretched it's like glass beads and some jasper beads these could be amethyst let me look inside with my loop I'm gonna have to go with glass I'm gonna have to go with that but the other ones are definitely some banded jasper very pretty beads here's some more pretty beads coming out of this there's some lamp work beads they are outstretched though Here's a cloisonne. That's a beautiful bracelet, though. I hope it doesn't pop when I put it on. It's outstretched as well. Beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen any like this that are kind of donut shape. Have you seen anything like that? I don't believe I have. 
And this is stretchy with some owls, some pearls, rondelles. This one is not out stretchy. Another stretch. This one has heart. Wow, lots of interesting beads. Somebody really donated their collection here. These are glass as well. All glass. Even this little tiny seed beads are glass. Those are beautiful. Oh, that's a pendant here. That's beautiful. It looks like a CZ. Could be a crystal. I don't think it's marked or anything. Plating, but that is really pretty. Please match that necklace. Tangles, of course. All right, some kind of a leather banded thing. These are really popular. Nice condition, actually. It's pretty. It's a nice look. Another stretch. This one's pretty. Garnet colored stones on that. All of them are there. That's pretty. I like that antiqued. This in here. Look at that. All the beads in there. It might just come out. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. That was easier than I thought it would be. Wow. Now this thing has chains. Goodness gracious. And how long is that blue one? That's the way that goes. Multi-strand chains and beads. I need to put that in isolation because that thing's going to get tangled up again. Really a pretty color. And they are knotted. I think that's the best that came out of that bunch of beads. I like that. Here is some unikite. I recognize that thing. And uh, some other stones in here. Interesting. Gemstones. They feel so good, though. They're so cold and love the feeling of the gemstones. Cute. This is very hippie. Boho 70s, but let me see what brand it is. It looks like it anyway. This is an imitation from Stella and Dot trying to bring back the 70s. Look at that. That's pretty. These are very dimensional here. These are dimensional down here, and these are flat. That's a pretty look. I can't quite tell if it's supposed to be a blonde gold, beige gold, or if it's lost some of its color, because Stella and Dot makes great jewelry. They make it well. You may not like all the designs, but it's well-made jewelry. So that's pretty. I like that. It's nice and heavy, too. Pull this thing out. Looks complicated, too. This is uh, multi-chain. This is Premier Designs. And that's pretty. Look, I threw everything in here. Rhinestones, layers, coin-looking discs, and everything. It's in great condition, too. I believe we're supposed to give something away today. I'm not sure how to do that, but um, I guess we'll figure it out. More details from Miss Crystal. Oh, that's a beautiful earring. Here is a very nice necklace here. I like when they're chunky stones like this. Pretty. They're glass. It's Premier Designs. That's pretty. And that's a gunmetal. Premier. Oh, a bear. Interesting. That's pretty. I don't know if that's a genuine stone or not. It could be. Let me know what you think. I've never seen one like it. Could be man-made. It's very interesting, though. And these beads are pretty, too. And let me look at that finding. It's got an interesting color. Yeah, I don't see a mark on it. I love the beads on here, too. Very nice. It's kind of look like it matched. No, is it? No, I don't think so. I don't know. No. It looks a little different. There you go, there. Rhinestones are still there. I want to get these beads out of here because they are usually trouble coming here. Okay. It is uh, on a chain. This is actually metal, and they're interesting, and they're long. It's a long necklace, all metal beads with a clasp. There's in this. Got some faux druzies, some faux turquoise. This looks like a lucky brand for some reason. Your designs is everywhere. It's made, it's made really nicely. This is a nice look. Especially since it's on a gold tone, it's kind of cute. Made nicely. That would look really nice doubled up, too. There's some nice pieces in here. There should be for $80, right? I want to dig these out. Oh, this is pretty. That's really cool. Oh, look at this. Double-sided. 
Nice chain on that too. Beautiful double curb chain. If you tell me it's Premier Designs, I'm going to just jump with surprise because boy, these are AB stones around here. Very nice. I love this double duty here. Very cool. This looks like something a foreign dignitary would wear. Of course, made of real stones, but that is so cool. Oh, that butterfly is cute. Okay. Stretch, and this is a really cute jersey. Beads are pretty. I will likely, I don't know. Every time it's in a stretch, I really find it like I need to put it in a in a bead lock. They're beautiful beads too. This is the butterfly. This is cute. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, it always helps. <laughs> this one is broken. That is a beautiful butterfly. And then this is the one with the stations. It was probably all together at one time. That's a pretty one. I'll put that in some kind of necklace lot. I saw a lot of necklace lots. Okay, and ring lots and earring lots and so forth. Okay, here's an interesting one in a gold, rose gold color. And there you go. Look at that. Pretty. I need some rose gold. I don't think I own any real 14 karat rose gold. I used to have a Pandora bracelet, but that's in sterling. That They just finish it off with more copper at the end or something. It's their patented formula. It's definitely not rose gold. Maybe they do that now, but when I bought it, or found it actually in a jar, and researched it in order to sell it, that's what I learned anyway. Okay, this would have made a fabulous bracelet. That's what I thought it was. I like the bottom. I like the top. Reminds me of mermaid eggs or something. I don't know. Doesn't that look like caviar or something? <laughs> why would they add that bottom part? I just don't understand why they would even add that. It's the one that popped out of the top. Just a lightweight acrylic stone on that. Interesting. Medallion style. There it is. This is three strands. This is not marked. Pearls, some rings, and um, some acrylic. Oh, that's a pretty one. I like this one. This one is actually removable, so you can put that on some some beads or pearls or whatever. No maker on that. That's cool. This one is very worn out. Probably put that in a recycle bin. Vertigree, I don't want that to spread. Another one of these stretchy roll-on type of bracelets. Broken bracelet, I think. So I'll put that in a bead lot as well. It's a nice toggle. Why do they put toggles and then put it on stretch? I don't get it. Some kind of base metal. This, these beads are actually pretty. I like the long tubular ones as well. Chico's. Seen better days though, for sure. Interesting, the findings are copper. And this is all silver, so I don't know if it's repurposed it or something. Oh, pretty, really pretty. different kinds of beads on a long strand there. And then here is a, oh, I've seen this one before. I like this knot. I've seen this necklace before. So it just basically is a knot. This still has to be twisted and fixed, but uh, it's all dot dash beads and they're gold tone, silver tone, and even gold. These earrings are matched. That's good. We're getting some matched earrings. We will look at those in a this minute. This is crystal drop with pearls and it's got a little wear so yeah it has a little a little jump ring attached to it this would make a nice lanyard too chunky chains and pearls toggled broken Broke. one of the chains is loose but it's still a really nice piece that i think will find a nice happy home in a crafter one. tidbit charms more tangles here. Let me pull that tassel out. That's cute. Look at that. Oh, okay, this is cute. It is by Premier Designs. A little rhinestone on the tassel. That's pretty. I like the chain on it too. 
a nice look. I like that. Still like half the bag. This is so pretty. I like this. I like the colors on it too. It's got kind of a Native American vibe to it with the colors they used. And it's a long necklace. Very pretty. I love that. It's probably Premier Designs. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Somebody must have sold Premier Designs. This looks like part of that Premier Designs collection. It does. But this one has the double lobster claw there. Someone said these actually belong to blouses. I hate Ooh, that. Ooh, ever thought of doing that? Can you really not be trusted to pick out your own jewelry that you have to buy it on your blouse? Lots of tangles. Because this, this is Premier as well. <gasps> this is the Premier bag. Okay. This is a nice variation in size here and rosary linked style and it's cute Ooh, these feel nice quality faux pearls they are heavy they're glass crystal accents as well on them and that's a short little choker i like it a lot scissors get the scissors <laughs> but this is a contest carry i've got a salvage every piece glad it came out it is broken I'm going to salvage those beads for a bead line though a little worn out on the shell colors i like the pink pearls here is a little boho thing also premier design it's long gold tone it's pretty kind of a take me to work look quite a few things in here Definitely been worth it. These are gorgeous. And they're matched. They're glass. They look like amber, but they're glass. That's a pretty color. Oh, I love that carving. Those are gorgeous. Oh, I like those. Let's see what this is here. These are gemstones. You can tell. Amethyst. Citrine. Clear quartz. Beautiful. Nice toggle. Sterling on the toggle, that'd be wonderful. It is! Sterling right here. Awesome. They're definitely gemstones. Beautiful. And this one looks like gemstones too. Garnets. These look like sterling beads. Nice trombone. Clasp. The clasp does not look sterling to me, but it could be. I'll have to test it. Oh, yeah. It looks like it says 925. Yeah, I see 925 on it. Cool beans indeed. And these beads definitely look like 925. Bingo. I have to say bingo on this one. Yeah, I really love it when the clasp, the findings are sterling. Awesome. These are definitely garnets. Sweet. I love it. I really do. So uh, machine made beads, but beautiful nonetheless. Fluted. Very nice. I love that. Oh, look at this little chunk of amethyst. That's nice. A little chevron amethyst there at that. Where's the rest of you? Love it. Very cool. Yeah, can you see the little chevron? Mm hmm. Very cool. Nice. A button. Thank you. Don't collect buttons anymore. And this looks like malachite right here. Yeah. Nice. Nice toggle on that one, too. Oh, yeah. Here it is. I do see a mark on the finding there. I don't know if you can see it right there. That's an awesome score. Look, here's the rest of it. We got a necklace to match. Cool. Very cool. And the bracelet that match. Pretty cool. Pretty cool there. Very nice. All right, look at this. Got some blue lace agate. Blue lace agate. This one is definitely a sterling finding. That's a bracelet, but let's look at this. This is beautiful. Yeah, these hooks definitely look like sterling. Let me double check them. This one's marked STG as well. I don't know if that's short for sterling. This one is marked 925 though, right here. Big. In the big loop. 
so nice. This is beautiful. This is, I love blue lace agate. It's so pretty. As this other one, it is marked as well, 925, right there. And cool. Love that. I think it is a blue lace agate as well. It's just faceted. Really nice. This is a great bag. Oh, look at this. It matches the earrings. That is so pretty. I just got a fabulous cameo that the lady said was amber amber as well, but I knew it wasn't, but I loved it anyway. And um, it reminds me of this glass, but it was a carved cameo. Beautiful set. This is awesome. Matching earrings, little Y necklace. Very pretty glass beads on those. Very nice. I love it. I love this combination of black and amber colors. Beautiful. Malachi earrings that match? I think so. And here's the other one. All right, so we got a three-piece set. Let's see if these are sterling, too. These, these um, hooks, I'm not sure. They are genuine Malachi. They are 925 as well. Hmm. Nice. Right there, right below the stone. Hope you can see that. There you go. So cool. That was a nice score. I think people use these on their glasses too. Yeah. Here's another piece of the amethyst. Okay, it must have been a key ring then. Very nice. So we got two chunks of amethyst. Can't beat that. Very cool. Here's a oh, this must go with this thing. And these are these are sterling as well. It's the same hook as the other one. Very nice. Let me put that over there and see if we get the matching. Mm -hmm strand of beads these are acrylic black beads looks like we have a bracelet same thing somebody really got crafty and use genuine gemstones and use uh, sterling findings and so now we have this with one earring and we're, it doesn't quite match this one completely but could definitely be used together so that was nice I hope we find the other earring we have some kids jewelry those are fun I do kids lots quite a bit that's actually cute a little enamel silver tone I thought it was turtles at first but it's not it's kind of it looks like denim lapis but it's just enameled to look like that very nice condition beads made out of paper they're very cute very cool. Unfinished here? No, they are. They're post. Okay. But it is one. Here's a rosary. Broken rosary. Broken rosary. Is this a premiere? <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> it's cute though. I don't know. Premiere does some good stuff. I don't like everything they do, honestly, but they make good quality jewelry. It lasts if you take care of it. And these styles I came out with here are nice. Look at that. It's all AB stones. None missing. It's long. Floral, pretty Victorian look. I love it. Very nice. What is this? This is the garnet neck bracelet that matches the necklace. Wow, we got matching sets in here. I'm going back to that store. I actually did. I've been looking for jewelry jars at the Goodwill that's near my house and the one that's near my work and I didn't find any this week so oh my gosh that's nice very pretty very pretty set I love that I love the feel of garnets any gemstones they just feel so good this is interesting this looks like a sterling finding as well bugle beads must have been the same craft craftsman that did this these are glass beads look at that they put like these interesting stations there very nice also a sterling finding on that exact same one with the same marking of 925 right there I hope you can see it here's another one same finding no this is different this is a jump ring Yes, this one's also sterling silver on that finding. This is pretty. Glass bugle beads, some silver beads. It's definitely coming apart, so that'll go in a crafter lot. 
It's interesting. It's threaded throughout, but the threads are coming apart. I guess it was like a matching set. A couple of these, some of these as well. The, I'll probably put the threaded ones in the crafter lot since they seem to be coming apart. Not bad. And, oh, we got a match on these earrings. Kind of sapphire colored stones there. Silver tone. We had a lot of these little paw charms. Putting those in crafter lots. These are pretty. These are navy. And they're wood. Okay, don't have the match yet. Here's a, a paw ring. <laughs> a little puppy paw ring. Okay. There we go. We got a match on these earrings. These have glass beads inside of them. They're spiraled, silver tone. Kind of cute. And this has a cool silver tone sun and moon. I'll put that in my hippie lot. That's cute. Angles. Again, it was probably all part of that set. So that's a nice look. The chain textured chain with a toggle looks like they may have added that toggle I think they just kind of fashioned it from a crafter piece or something because this is textured and very shiny and then this one is kind of dull I'll put that in a crafter lot since it was kind of ill-conceived there and look at this wow look at this thing and there's a star of David in there floating around looks like sterling to me pretty. Okay, let me get the Star of David out first. Oh my goodness. It's a cute bracelet too. BFF bracelet. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be somebody's best friend? <laughs> In third grade, that is. This is a beautiful chain. It's a twisted chain. It says 925, and it does have a crown and an FJ on it. Can't tell if those are little stones or what, but let me look at that. Tiny, I'll have to test them. It looks like it says YSAU or JSAY, and it says 925. So I'll let you look at that up close. It's like an etched 925 on there. And then that name, and you probably will not read it. Let me let you look at the stones. Let me know if you think they're diamonds or CZs. I don't know. I almost want to go towards diamonds, honestly. They're not the best quality diamonds, definitely cloudy. But I do want to go towards diamonds now. I, I will check them. See, they look a little cloudy. You tell me what you think. This is really interesting. This is like wired beads around this, and it is kind of cute. It's big and bright and toggled and, oh my goodness, they're silver. But there's a chain of gold being behind it and some findings behind it that are gold. It's quite interesting. Look at the back. What in the world was that? Some kind of acrylic rhinestone there. Not out of there. I will. They need a little post glued to them, but I think I'll just put them in a crafter lot instead. Those are cute earrings. Those are premier designs too. Well, that's one earring anyway. Ugh, wires, 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 wires. Okay, got those matched too. I think I saw that a minute ago. Let me get this out of here, guys. These are earrings in here too that are matched. All right, this is broken already. I didn't even take the scissors to it, I promise. It looks like two. Is it two necklaces? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up in a bead lot in a plastic bag here it's it's overstretched but it's really got some beautiful beads on it it really does metal ones and the caps are interesting so that's a nice addition to the bead lot and here's another pretty set of beads with the hamsa hand 
in here. These are glass. I'll put that in a lot. Here's some red stones. A little red coated. This has a matching necklace. Oh, somebody wanted six dollars for this. Another one. statement piece. This is a good crafter piece too, but I think I'll put it in my rhinestone lot. And another wire necklace with pretty little beads. Very nice beads, actually. And okay, let's see what we got matched up. We did get this matched up with the earrings. That's beautiful. Amethyst. Sterling findings. That's pretty. So this was an awesome bag, guys. I'm sorry. I think you're going to have to vote that I won. <laughs> In my never to be humble opinion. But we shall see. We shall see what the crystal has to offer. These are matched. These red ones, they're post and they're acrylic. Those are nice and lightweight. We did get this set matched up. The earrings and the necklace, those matched up. Matching. The Premier Designs are cute. I like those with the little hinge. I didn't find this one. I love this one. Um, these two matched up. These are marked Avon or something. Not sure what this is. Trafari. Those matched up. They don't have the crown. They are pretty cool. Okay. So these are tiny little pearls. But they are sterling silver findings, so those are nice. Lots of fabulous jewelry, guys. I am absolutely floored. I'm absolutely floored with the jewelry. It was really great. Matching sets. Sterling pieces. This one was beautiful. This set was amazing. With the amber-colored glass and... The garnet set with the bracelet and the necklace that turned out to be that is sterling as well. That is amazing. Such beautiful pieces. Honestly, this was an amazing bag. All of these necklaces that were gemstones, the little chunks of amethyst are cute. I mean, this just was really, really a good bag. It was expensive. You vote how you want to vote. Let me know which ones were your favorites. Let me know if you think I won this battle. Go check out my friend Crystal. She's here on YouTube. She has an amazing channel. She does auctions and um, other content. She loves to unbox jewelry. She loves jewelry. It truly shows. So I think you'll really enjoy her channel. I'll link it below, and um, we'll get on with this battle, guys. Thanks so much. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.